what we did was break down the value chain and understand where are the sort of pluses and minuses across that that drive the change. And what you can see is that there are clear opportunities to drive up to 20% cost savings using best practice that's in play now, but people are struggling to go for the fully productized design, the, the uh, sophisticated aligned logistics scheme, and the sort of optimizing materials in order to deliver all of the components of that that lead to that 20% cost saving. I think the other thing is we identified this 20% number as what can be achieved now. That also shouldn't be the barrier of what, what is achievable. And if you start leveraging more vertical integration, more scale, and higher levels of automation, both in design and the processes of manufacture themselves, you should be able to deliver cost savings significantly greater than that as well. However, there is also the case that if you don't get these things right, and if, there is, if you try and do bespoke construction in a manufacturing site, or try and coordinate your factory in a construction mindset rather than a manufacturing mindset, you see examples of people who end up with a regular premium on how much their products cost, which is why they have often failed to scale into the markets.